terrifying investigation into a random attack uh, of a woman in New Jersey. Her name is Donna Oshako. She was home alone after midnight. This was 10 years ago when she heard a noise by her door and she assumed it was her cat, went to check on it, but instead it was a teenager who stabbed her multiple times. Jim Axelrod now looks at the search for her attempted murderer and here's an early look at his 48 hours report. It was the 4th of July weekend in 2013. Donna Angshako had just gone to bed when she heard a noise downstairs by the front door. When she opened the door... I saw someone standing there. In the split second after seeing this person on my porch, I saw the knife. A young man pushed his way into her home and began to stab Donna repeatedly. I felt like my legs were going to give out. So I braced myself against the corner of um, my bathroom right next to the front door. Before leaving with her car keys and purse, the assailant stabbed Donna one last time in her chest. I lost, in, in total, close to three quarters of the blood in my body. There's no earthly reason why I'm alive, none. Monmouth County Detective Andrea Tazi. She got upstairs and was able to call 911. He just came in and stabbed me. I think he hit my heart. He was probably about 17. White, real skinny, curly hair. Blonde, dirty blonde hair. It's a backpack. A male carrying a knife was spotted shortly after the attack on security cameras at a nearby shopping center. With Donna's help, a sketch of her assailant was soon plastered around town. A tip would lead them to 16-year-old Brennan Doyle with a fresh haircut. Investigators learned he normally wore his hair long, like this sketch. So that's a big red flag. Yes. Doyle was arrested and faced multiple charges, including attempted murder. His reason for the attack? He blamed his actions on being under the influence of hallucinogenic mushrooms. Jim Alxara joins us now. What a story, Jim. Ooh, wow. Brutal. OK, so he says he was on magic mushrooms, which is not saying I didn't do it. Um, did prosecutors believe that as a defense? Well, it's interesting. So he says he's on hallucinogenics, only he then gets in the car he stole, drives five miles to a shopping center, and has the presence of mind to get rid of the weapon. Mm. So if he is on mushrooms, he's certainly thinking rationally for a guy who's supposedly on hallucinogenics. It would be bad enough to do this to someone you know, but he had no tie to her whatsoever. Nothing? No connection? No tie. And Gail, the craziest part of this whole thing, well, there's a lot of parts yeah, that's yeah, going to yeah. draw viewers' interest, but she lost, you heard her say, she lost three quarters of the blood in her blood. body. Here's another way to look at it. Think about this. Mm -hmm. The trauma surgeon who saved her life, said that last of the 37 stabs right in the heart, oh, yes. missed her heart by the edge oh. of a dime. How oh, was she able gosh. to survive yeah. then? How does this happen? You know what? Watch what? tomorrow night on, yeah. on okay, 48 Hours. <laughs> the, survival a story, <laughs> good the, the survival story is stunning. Yeah. Cell phone's upstairs. She's got to get there. How she got up those stairs? Oh. Wow. Tomorrow night. Jeez, Jim. How, yeah. how is she doing? Yeah, yeah doing She's and dealing with her trauma, today. which you can imagine. She started uh, her own nonprofit to help people that have been victims of random violence. It, she is a remarkable study in resilience, but you can imagine the scars, mental and physical. And where's Mr. Mann? Is he behind bars? He is, for right. the time being. For wow. the time being. See you tomorrow night. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> You're like fighting us to believe that he could possibly not be in jail. Well, he's, uh, I don't he's like right. that. There's a process. Jim, thank you very yes. much. That's a heck of a tease. You can yeah. see Jim's full report, a stabbing in Colt's Neck on 48 Hours tomorrow night at 10, 9 central right here on CBS and Paramount+. Plus.